Hey guys, thank you so much for listening to our podcast. However you got here, we appreciate it. If you could just take one second to like, subscribe, to rate, and review, and all of those things, we would appreciate it so, so much. And thank you so much for listening, and hopefully you think it's hilarious. Impressive piece of music, sir. Oh, that's the new theme song, everybody. Mm-hmm. You, you probably heard it last week, but you know we didn't we didn't comment on it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to put it in or not, but you know, it's time, baby. It's there, and I'm here for it. Yeah, do you like it? I am here for it. Do I you, love it. It's funky fresh. Funky fresh. So mm-hmm. you like it more than the uh, the last one? I do. I, it's preferable to me. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's better. I, I think, think it's people. Upbeat. You think it's upbeat? Okay. Mm-hmm. Anything Got else? It. Upbeat. The singing is superb. Oh, who did that? The voice of an angel who, is in that. Whose pipes were those? Oh, my God. It's oh. Adam. Oh. It was Adam, you guys. It was, did I kill it? Oh, oh my, my gosh. You should get a trophy. I let someone listen to that, and they were like, oh, man, whose pipes are those? I'm like, oh, me. <laughs> 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 take it yeah. you gotta take what you can get yeah yeah absolutely it's great well you know i mean i i like the the original one because it is fun but it's also like just like a little weird mm. you know yeah sure so i'm gonna start the show like yeah. that's a little oh i i don't know I don't f- sell I, it short it sounds like a disturbed yeah you know person is like ooh. yeah like we need to call someone to get this person yeah it's like oh he's like losing his mind <laughs> and not in a fun way no <laughs> he's losing his mind like in the 90s when it was cool to like lose your mind you know when like, yeah. grunge was a big thing oh yeah and like uh, rage against the machine it's like i don't i don't know what to think i'm going crazy <laughs> the the government what's up with them the government bro well that's still today I yeah think. well yeah. yeah but i'm it's still in you know still the same vibe of rage against the machine and grunge but yeah you're right that hasn't gone away yeah That's have you ever true. raged against the machine you know i think i have yeah but do not ask me to say any songs really i just can't remember but i i'm like i'm like famils with it okay well i mean like like as oh, the like as the metaphor the, goes the machine as have you ever raged the against the machine you know i like That's to rage I like to rage. Yeah. Sometimes I'll drive by a government building and I'll kind of like take my closed fist and I'll give them a little, ah. Mm. <laughs> so they know what's what. They yeah. know what I'm about. I've never raged against the machine. I have sighed against mm. the machine a couple of times. A um, couple of groans. Yeah. But no, I just, I'm just not a rager. Yeah. You know, I can be uh-huh. disappointed against the machine. Yeah. But I don't think I have it in me to rage. I do have rage. Do I take you? that back. I have actually a lot of rage. Well, you're an ally. Well, I am an ally. Yeah, and I, I also means, I, just... I also do advocacy work. I yeah. feel, I guess I feel like it's not appropriate to call it rage. Because when I think of rage, I think like, let me throw a chair yeah. through a window. Well, I think that's what they meant. Yeah, that is right. That's yeah. okay. 
I wanted to make sure that we were on the same page with the raging aspect yeah. of it. You you like organize activism against mm-hmm. the machine. Mm-hmm. Let's organize against the machine. What genre of music do you think uh, organize activism against the machine would be? Um, if, that, if that were a band. Organize active. I would say like, um, I would say like, uh, <laughs> I would say white indie women like. Yeah. Uh, Fiona Apple. Like Fiona Apple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or uh, what, do, what do you think? What about Lana Del Rey? Is she he, in that vein? Or I don't know. I think I wouldn't say so. Maybe a little bit. I know. Noth- Maybe Miley Cyrus. Oh, a little okay. bit. But I don't know. She's a little, she's yeah, a little too wild. A little you have to be kind wild. of composed. She might rage against the yeah. machine. Yeah. 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 yeah, did 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 white women turn on Lana Del Rey? I feel like there's been some pushback. Really, on her. I, don't I don't know. I just feel like I've heard people be like, uh, oh. like Ugh, about her. I don't know. Oh, inter- yeah, I'm glad I, you're in the know. If you're anyone listening. has any feedback on that, I'd love to know. Mm-hmm. So please, please, you know, comment. Please comment in our fake forum yeah, that doesn't forum. exist no we have youtube comments yeah has anyone commented on a youtube comment or a no YouTube? yeah not at all i would be shocked if anyone did that not would be single. the more surprising thing well what's funny is i have comments on like my other videos that don't have more than you know 30 views mm. so the internet's a weird place you never know i think the algorithm just points them to like that because like there's like it's like a Steely Dan cover. People type in Steely Dan, and they see it. You want to know why they're probably not commenting? Why? Because it's funny. It's f- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's funny. It's funny. That's a John Lovitz reference. That's a John Lovitz. I just listened to the last Conan O'Brien needs a friend podcast. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell the story? And I I liked it. I it's not a it. great. Okay. Oh. I'm. I want to just say for the listener, I'm not a great storyteller. I will do my best. So Dana Carvey was on the show and he was talking about, you know, how he hangs out with John Lovitz a lot. And if you don't know him, please look it up um, because he's a character. And um, he was saying how John Lovitz has this like grudge against them not doing a movie about his character, the liar from (laughs) SNL, because, you know, they have all these movies um, from SNL skits and he'd go to him and he'd say, you want to know why they didn't do it? Because it's funny. (laughs) (laughs) And it's just a treat. Just an absolute treat. You just made me realize something okay they didn't make an animated series based off that character yes they did oh is it called the liar i know he was in an animated series yeah because i'm pretty sure i've seen i haven't seen it but i've seen it advertised called the liar i don't know what it's about is it okay we need to get on it we need to get on that because they didn't mention that it's like what are you so butthurt about dude they made they made a show yeah also you were in my stepmother is an alien what about that what about that cinematic masterpiece blockbuster (laughs) <laughs> blockbuster <laughs> hit yeah which i encourage everyone to watch mm. because i loved that movie also i'm sure he got a great uh payday from rat race very good oh, when race. he pretended he was hitler yeah yeah oh yeah and what was it what kathy what's her name kathy. um the the girl the lady in um hocus pocus that was it played his wife in rat race you know, the lady the, in Hocus you Pocus? Know, big girl, you know, big girl in Hocus oh, I don't Pocus. know what her name is. I it's don't know. Kathy. Is it Kathy something. something? I know exactly who you're talking about now. It's like Kathy. Also, why'd you Najimi say the something. bigger one? Yeah. 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 No, I got gotcha. you. Know, it doesn't have to be a secret. I think we all know what she looks like. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to be so yeah. forward with yeah, it. Yeah. You will be. Slip. God under. forbid. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I totally haven't. I, I think I saw that movie in theaters. And I remember specifically that part, the girl ground dog in it with her ass out the window because she had to take a shit. We're talking about rat race, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And then I remember the guy who just got his tongue pierced and did this the, the, the whole oh. time, which, by the way, if you got your tongue pierced, false. That's, yeah. It's well, I think I think what, I think it was that they botched it. I thought that oh, was- Oh, did the, they botch it? I thought that's what it was. Oh, okay. I don't they, know. Because it bruised. Yeah, maybe. it was like purple. I mean, that would make sense. We'll you know? go with that. Because then he was talking to the other girl with the tongue ring. Was, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, guys, come, come now. Yeah. But. Piercing's kind of like, I mean, they didn't go away, but I think they, you know, 
They, I agree. They, they dialed in to a certain lane and they kind of stayed there. totally agree. I think that this, this is a good topic. Yeah. Because I was thinking about that in terms of like people expressing themselves now and mm-hmm. dyeing your hair super popular. Not like it was like in terms of just like crazy colors like mermaid and green and all that. I think that's much more accepted. Yeah. Not that people weren't doing it, but it was not like as cool as it is now. Dying your I hair? Think. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was different. Well, Billie Eilish brought it back. Yeah. I agree with that. Billie Eilish is bringing it to the, to the youths. Mm-hmm. And I would also say tattoos, like those like black and white kind of tattoos or just, you know, the kind of... There's Prison cer- tats? No, no. <laughs> There's like a like the artistic, really pretty kind of just like black. Hannah. Pl- no, I'm just gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right just there. T- I'm just gonna let you know you're not gonna guess. Okay, what it is. so hopefully the listener under- listener understands. So those are really popular, and then I mean there's color ones, but you mentioned piercings, and they're really. I think maybe like a septum is the most popular. Is that the nose? Yeah, that's the nose here. Yeah. I but like, I like people that. would be doing like the um like obviously like a tongue ring and like a lip ring and an eyebrow ring and all of that I feel like was more popular back in the day. People don't mm-hmm. be getting those piercings now. No. Um I did I've done like my ear. Both ears have I've kind of covered the, the areas that I want without it looking cluttered. And yeah. I have my dermals, which right. I think are very cool. Yeah. Snake bites. Snake bites that's are what they're well, known as on the streets. Right? No, that's not dermals. That's what's on oh, your. Oh, yeah. That's what yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah, to think yeah, of, yeah. though. Snake bites. Is that yeah. right? Okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah, got it. And then gauges. Gauges were much bigger. Oh, with the ear? Yeah, when you'd stretch out your ear hole. Yeah, that kind of went away, too. That kind of went away. Yeah, isn't it? Interesting? And I'm sure people are doing it, but not like they were back in the day. Yeah, not like maybe five, six years ago. Yeah, I feel like I remember like mid. 2000s that was a really popular move yeah god what do you think about people that like chase trends like that i don't know i mean i think we're trying to figure it out you know i think everyone's trying to find what fits them so when a new trend comes along it's like maybe this or you just want to feel accepted yeah i think you know who doesn't want to feel accepted what do you think about the people i mean what do you think they feel like if like you know say they did the big hoop you know, ear trend, right. right? And then now it's out, right? Yeah. It's out with like vaping's out, you know? Yeah. And so now it's just like, they just have a big hole in their ear and they just don't, you know what I'm saying? You can get like, it looks fucked. You can get it like sewed back or really? something. That seems like yeah. Yeah. I know it kind of right? sucks, but I kind of feel like if you have it that big, if, cause I gauged my ears, but like, yeah, like 14. So that, so the normal is kind of like 20. That's like a normal piercing. Yeah. But maybe 18, but I would say 20. Okay. So I think I got to like 14 and it was a slightly bigger, but it would close back up. So Mm. if you're doing something that big where it's obvious, I kind of feel like you're not just following the trends. Yeah. That's a commitment. In for a penny, in for a pound. That's right. That's what I would say. In for penny pound. Yeah. Penny pound. Mm -hmm, That's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything with a P. I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. It's a good sound. You have to use P's more. I'm gonna have That's to cut what I always say. Plosives after this. Mm, what? After this happy plosives. Okay. It's a. It's a biz. It's a term. It's oh, an industry it's in term. the biz. Yeah, you wouldn't. Oh, get I wouldn't it. get it. The biz. Yeah, production okay. biz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. So yeah, what's up, baby? I can't believe we just yeah. killed 15 minutes like that. That's crazy. I mean. Honestly, I could talk about fucking nothing forever. Yeah, me too. My mind goes so quickly on to the next thing yeah. that I cannot keep up with it. And then I try to slow it down. Mm-hmm. You and I just had this conversation to try to be you know, like, all right, let's chill. Because I forget things so quickly and I'm excited to share. Yeah. So I'm just bouncing around like that. Ball was that was the Zoloft? Did they bounce around that like? Oh, the little, little ball, ball, dude. Did he bounce? He's like, I'm sad. I'm sad now. Oh, it's I'm still sad, but I have a slightly better disposition. <laughs> Thanks, Zoloft. Thanks, Zoloft. <laughs> Things are kind of okay. I just barely don't want to kill myself <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> just above the surface. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah, five sure. stars. So maybe not it's bouncing. You know what it is? Yeah. I take it back. It's like the old Walmart ads with the bouncing smiley mm. face. That's what it is. Rolling, 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 roll, in, in, roll in, back. Is yeah. that, was that what That's it was? That's right. You remember that? And then I, they had always low prices and they took that shit away, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, they they heard, like, remember we, we came can't. for them about that. We and they were like, them. well, we can't do this anymore. We can't do it. I had them and Allison are on mm-hmm, to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Or they're going to be in 20 years. So yeah, let's go ahead and do away with it. Yeah. I've been on Walmart. I mean, it's funny. I used to go to Walmart every week. Yeah. You were At just on once. your own in that Walmart. We would go to Walmart to do like there was nothing else to do. Except just be at Walmart. Oh, I used to fuck with a Walmart. Yeah, as a kid. Oh well, not as a kid. It would. I, it was kind of like in my maybe like I was like nineteen, early twenties, mm-hmm. because I often had like a weird sleep schedule, and my friend had insomnia, so whatever was open twenty four seven, and that was Kmart and Walmart. So oh, we would just Kmart. like walk around and yeah. just like see what was up and just look at shit. And then eat food. Yeah. That was it. And it was fun. Kmart never had anything good. I remember oh, even as a kid oh. being like, this place fucking sucks. We we went, they had some good purses. Did I they? know that wouldn't interest you. We'd yeah. And then maybe we'd get a fuzzy sock. I just one. So, oh, yeah. We only had one. Like there was, there's, we don't want to get greedy with it. Yeah. You know? No, yeah, I, I do. Just keep it to one. Um, I think that you should share your experience in the Batmobile. At Walmart? Oh, yeah. I think you need to share that experience. You know, it's so crazy. I tell people this story and they don't believe me. What? And I'm like, first of all. Such a weird thing to lie about. Why would I make, like, I'm (laughs) 32. Yeah, like, hold on. Come on. (laughs) You're not 30. Give it to me. Uh, Why would I make that up? But when I was like four years old, um, my mom entered me into like a raffle at Walmart. Um, and the the grand prize was they had um, the actual Batmobile from like the Batman Returns, Bat- like the Tim Burton era Batman movies. Well, not the actual one. I'm sure it was a replica. It was. I'm sorry. The actual You're Batmobile. right. I'm so sorry. It was. The Batmobile. We have to have a follow up discussion about. Okay, carry on. I'm gonna stop. I'll first let you of all, <laughs> first of all, there is no real Batmobile. Okay, they're all replicas. All right. Okay, but there is one used in the movie that's specific to the movie. Well, there's probably multiple. Uh, yeah. Because okay. in in the biz, oh, um, I, I know at least with the Adam West movie, they they made uh multiple. Batmobiles for Batmobiles sh- for for production purposes, like um for like I guess like for like different shots or whatever I don't I don't know but yeah. I just I know that they made multiples yeah um so my assumption is that they did the same for um the Tim Burton movies sure as well. I'm sure so anyway Batmobile is at Walmart okay two p.m. on a Tuesday and uh, and I. One, only thing I've ever really won. Honestly, I've never won. I've never Except my love any and kind affection. Of, well, that's you know that was skill. That was mm. not luck. Um, because I'm a bad bitch. Mm, that's true. Um, and so yeah, you know we got to drive around the parking lot. Uh, there were buttons. I got to press buttons and it like <sighs> made noises and like press that fires the machine guns. <laughs> you know. And it, it was a, the the seal like the the hood, like tss, tss, opened up. You know, I mean, can you imagine what that does for a child? Oh yeah, you to, probably to spur their imagination, make them realize like uh, how you know how possible crazy things can be at such a young age. You know what I love about and my that dad story. died. Oh, <laughs> and then oh, I didn't. No. Uh, and then all those dreams were dead. Well, not right after. Not immediately. You were four. Well, I ran over it with the Batmobile. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just kidding. Well, um, uh, what's funny about that story is you've shared you shared that with me a couple of times, mm-hmm. and we were with your mom, yeah. and you were like, "I don't even know how I got in it," because your mom said, 
oh, I don't know, and played dumb. <laughs> and you, an adult man, was yeah. like, how did I get in? And she was like, I obviously entered you in it. <laughs> <laughs> and you were still like, a mystery that will never be what? solved. No, you didn't. Yeah. I... <laughs> She was looking at you like, this is so sad. <laughs> well, I just thought she would have come clean to me by now if she had. She probably wasn't. She's probably not thinking about it. She's yeah. not coming up to you like, hey, remember that Batmobile experience that you loved and cherished? Yeah. I fucking lied to you. I wonder if that cost money for her. I would assume they had to. End. Yeah, probably. It was probably some kind of cost like to 10 it. 10 bucks or something, maybe. Yeah, who knows? So crazy. I mean, again, I've never won anything like that, and I probably never will, so... I think everybody gets one like little drawing thing in their yeah. life in their lifetime. Right? I think I've probably gotten multiple. What have you won? Well, thank you for asking. Um, the first one I remember was in second grade. We had a guessing contest about how much the pumpkin weighed. Mm. And I won. And Whoa. I could not tell you. I remember the joy that I felt being like, I did it <laughs> it was i felt so fucking excited yeah and then in the same this was elementary school i think it was like fourth or fifth grade mm -hmm. they had a raffle and i won tickets to this bizarre play mm. bizarre play i totally forgot about this memory so my dad and i went to this play and it was not for me a child because mm. it was like there were moments when this daughter was taking care of the mom and I just remember her being so resentful of it and they were fighting. And I think the daughter ended up murdering the mom. Oh, my gosh. And I remember leaving there being like, I did not enjoy that. Yeah. And I think I was eight or nine or something. Yeah. I should not have been there. Was this a school thing? No, it was like the tickets in the raffle were won for... Yeah. I don't know if it was I'm assuming it was for this play and they just donated whatever. And I think one would think, oh, the parents would go or something. And yeah. it was me and my dad. And it was in the so playhouse, was, which probably. is in Cleveland. Huh? He didn't know what that was. Probably. He didn't know. I mean, oh, I, play. You want to go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's some like that. points. Yeah. I, like that? That, well, that was closer. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was closer. I'm sure, kind of just doing my John Lovitz impression. Yeah, it's similar to it, but it's not, <laughs> it's energy is similar yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, And I think I probably won other stuff that I can't think of right now. And, mm -hmm. But not often. one of those water gun uh, no. shoot offs at the carnival? No, you I know? can already tell you I've never won that. I won, I won a couple of those. It's rigged. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because you're against other players. I know, but like you can see, I feel like some people are really giving it. They don't care. Yeah, Those right. carnival guys, they don't give yeah, a Yeah, they're fuck. checked out. Yeah. They are checked out. Yeah, they're on heroin probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think about being a carny? No, not one time. Not once? But you know what? It That does sound, I feel like if I was a kid, that would be thrilling. You know, like join the circus. And, yeah. But I never thought that. I feel like... I would think that's just too much. Well, carnivals really aren't what they once were. No. Right? right? They'd come in on the train and it would be like, oh, the carnival is here or something. Aren't yeah. there a train or some shit? I, I don't think know. like they peaked in like the 1920s. Was yeah. Like really we missed when they were it. We missed height. the window. So close. We missed peak carnival. <laughs> we missed era. peak carnival. Yeah. Yeah. I what mean, it was. Because what else are you doing? That's the thing. When you're back in the day in the olden times, what else like... you? Wait, yeah. I mean, maybe you had the radio. Um, and if there was no radio, you had what? Sticks? I don't think the radio was a thing. Till like uh, yeah, the I think you're right. The 20s is too 20s, early. But still, the, the, the options for entertainment were more limited. So you had find your own ways, figure it out. Mm -hmm. This was before cell phones, folks. I hate that shit when... When older people talk and they're like, and this was before, if you can believe it, cell phones. And I'm like, yeah. I think everyone can believe it. Yeah. Everyone has taken a history class. Except for that girl with the blow dryer. Oh, that right? was cute. Okay. Can I tell the story? Please. Okay. Please so do. Adam and I went to Shakespeare in the Park yesterday to see the Twelfth Night. Because we, uh, uh, intellectual and cultured as fuck. Uh, uh, better than you. Better than you. It was really good. Understood what they were saying. That's right. That's right. It was really good. The performers killed it. But um, 
I was using the bathroom and this little girl was beside me using, you know, the blow dryer where you have to just press the button, the silver boop, to get it going. And I was washing my hands and I think she was talking about how she didn't know how to do that or was confused about how to start it because I guess she'd only seen automatic ones. And I'm like, have you only been in fancy bathrooms with automatic ones? I don't know. So first she went boop. And then um, I just heard her say, you learn something new every day. And I thought that was adorable. Mm -hmm. Um, It just felt very cute coming from a tiny child. Yeah. And then I was leaving and I heard her go, how do I turn it off? (laughs) And so then I was like, turns off automatically. And I left like a phantom in the night. And then she said, boy, you learn. You don't learn two things every day. (laughs) Oh, this is more learning than I was expecting for today. I won the in the learning (laughs) category oh no today that kid's get you let's beat her up somebody beat her up you can't say things like that and not get beat up yeah i'm in the wealth of knowledge i'm so rich oh, <laughs> shut gross up. shut up yeah shakespeare in the park was was great i it mean was we, so good do you think other cities have good like shakespeare programs like louisville does i mean i think i told you cleveland has it as well yeah. i don't think that it's as good in terms of like location because mm. Louisville has a good the Central Park Park. Yeah. Um, not New York, guys. It's you know, <laughs> it's all the same, I think. It's not friends. <laughs> uh, um it's not the same vibe, but it's still nice. It's in like university circle area where like the museums are. Um, so that's it's still pretty cool, but yeah. I think that a lot of cities have something like that. But okay, I would hope so. Yeah, I would just hope but so. I feel like for a free show, the production value is was pretty great yeah i thought pretty it was awesome. really was good music. they had all they had a whole band you guys they had a whole it was like they were doing it was 12th night but they mm-hmm. were doing like dixie land like a new orleans like a type new orleans vibe. type yeah that's exactly right and you know there's something I, I thought about that i wanted to bring up and you know i've we, we've witnessed this twice now once shakespeare in the park and and again it's actually the renaissance fair um the week before which we got to touch on oh, after circle back um but i've noticed that i think like comedy with a crowd um when it's like lowbrow comedy like it's not comedy um it's not like trying to be edgy or original it's just mm-hmm. classic you know just how do we make people laugh you know yeah just very classic tropes and i've noticed both um both shows the ren fair show and this show did uh employed the the same strategy to make people laugh and that was the part where they were getting the audience to participate in the show by saying hey i say this thing you you say it back okay and then they do they do it again they do it again third time fourth time and then the last time they'll sing something that is, or they'll say something that's just way too long for the audience to be able to remember to recite mm-hmm. uh, in unison, and the whole bit is just like, oh, the audience messed up. <laughs> oh, they love it. You they know eat that shit up. I didn't realize that was such a yeah. classic technique because now it's an interactive show right so now they're participating so they're like we're part of it we're just in the show now right and then it's funny because people like not only you can laugh at like yourself but you're in a group yeah so the person can be like guys that wasn't good everyone's like how do you expect us to remember (laughs) that that was crazy that's not possible that's not possible we don't have any practice (laughs) and they love it and it is that's a classic there's a lot of you know I just crowd pleasing things that just always get it every time that people enjoy. Yeah. And I think that is like specifically family friendly functions. Mm. Always a crowd pleaser. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. That would be awkward if they was like, oh, not good. And everyone just started getting super mad. (laughs) You didn't give us the time. That would be so We weren't prepared. If if they were just like, I think you guys could have done that a little better. Yeah. Honestly. Wow. I thought you guys had talent. Oh, like, oh, they, like, the person was coming for the audience? Yeah, hard? yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. was thinking the other way, like, the audience got super offended and angry <laughs> that they were <laughs> being attacked. 
We weren't prepared <laughs> adequately. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should have given us documentation beforehand to look at. At least some sheet music. <laughs> at the bare, bare minimum. Bare man. I do, but I do also find that concept funny that it starts off as like kind of light of like, okay, guys, and people are chuckling. But fucking seriously, I'm, I'm a performer first and foremost. Like they get super serious. Yeah. And I take this very seriously this is my livelihood Mm -hmm. okay this is not okay this is not acceptable and they just they get really upset and they just leave the stage and Mm -hmm. everyone's thinking is this is this part of it yeah and then it's like over and then that they're hey folks sorry um we're we have some technical issues everyone's like what the fuck and the technical issue is you ruined the show technically you ruined the show yeah so We we can't recover from we that. We can't recover. It's on you. So you're not and you're you're not getting your money back. Sorry. Yeah. Also, you, you didn't it pay because <laughs> it was free. Yeah, we didn't pay. That's right. Yeah, it was a free show, which yeah. is another perk. Yeah. yeah it was, it was great. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. I always got to look it. up what the synopsis is of the play mm-hmm. because I have no idea what they're saying. I read it. So if I I'm can get the mills. synopsis, it's easier for me to kind of fill in the blanks of yeah. what they are saying and just sort of like be like, okay. Mm-hmm. He for two are twelve daisies and I'm like, oh, that means that uh, she's pretending to be a man and she's in love with the dude that likes the other chick. Got it. Right. Cool. Got it. I understand. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah. No. Absolutely. It is hard to. I think you know getting used to language, but just thinking about having to memorize those lines in that way, and and bringing it to life is so incredible because. It's almost like you are speaking a different language and the way you can convey that to the audience without them knowing everything is through their emotion and body language. And even if the person doesn't really know what they're saying to say, I beseech you not to speak peace or something. I That's not. But I'm thinking of however it is. Well, beseech (laughs) was said. Yeah. Peace was said. But um. And people can get it. They're like, yeah. I know some. There's conflict. Someone's being insulted. Yeah. There's a reaction. You're on board. It seems like it's all very like non-direct. Yeah. You know, like I would not presume to think that about your bosom, but the light, the stars yeah. do show a broad light on the side of your rear. They're it's like, like speaking in riddles. Yeah. It's all speaking in riddles. It's yeah. not straight. I mean, it's not prose. It's not straightforward. It's supposed to be kind of like a roundabout because that was the theater. Yeah. So I think, you know, and without doing any other research about the time frame of no, like we won't do the it. 16th century and and all of that. Mm. Um, mm, 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 won't do it. What? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, mm. Oh, 17th century. Are you Six, sure that was 16, 1500s? 1600s. Was 1600s? 1602, 1604, I think. Oh, okay. All Somewhere right. I stand corrected. Mm-hmm. I sit corrected. I'm not standing. That'd be ridiculous. But I do think that it was, you know, that's just kind of how it, you, because it was almost like those who get it, get it. So it, it, it should have been a little tricky, I would assume, to kind of get. Because people weren't just like speaking like that on the streets, I don't think. No. Thy you don't think? aunt. I mean, not to that extent, but you know, again, no research. I yeah. can't. I always just assume something is lost in the translation. Yeah. Right, because it's not a direct. They're not um, just taking the actual. Like they're they're translating it to a certain extent, aren't they? No. Because it's old English, right? Yeah, I would say these are the writings, though. But aren't they modernizing them? At, no. At you mean all? in the you mean in the play we saw, or just in the text? Well, I mean, in whenever someone makes it puts on a shakespeare production right i mean are it's not like a king like a new king james version or something (laughs) well i think that happens but that's not what we saw i'm not talking about like well romeo and juliet also used the original text yeah they're using the text they're just using it in the way they want i they're not changing yeah the words if you if i were to bust out my shakespeare and we were to look up 12th night you would think okay Mm -hmm. mm-hmm I think you would. We should have just brought the play so you could just follow along. Yeah, can we get a script in here? Can we get a script, yeah. please? Yeah. Get a 
a script. Can we just watch She's the Man again? Oh, Adam <laughs> hasn't seen She's the Man, yeah. and I love that film. And I told him that I realized I was combining Twelfth Night with the She's the Man adaptation. <laughs> so I was watching Count, which is, you know, Duke in She's the Man. And I was like, you should have more, you should have more time. Because Channing Tatum had a lot of time and she's the man. So now I'm confused. Yeah. So that's what I was combining. And I, I don't know. I was at a loss. Sounds like she's the man's better. It's pretty good. Yeah. The tw- I love the 12th night. I really do. I th- I would say, I would say that's, I hate to say it's my favorite Shakespeare play. I feel mm. like that's too, but it's like top three. It's a funny concept that. To think that Amanda Bynes uh, improved Shakespeare. <laughs> well, and you also have 10 Things I Hate About You, which was a hit. And that's Taming of the Shrew. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. What about There's Something About Mary? Not relevant to Shakespeare. Not a Shakespeare? I, shocking, right? Yeah. You haven't seen Something About Mary, have you? No, I need to. Did you think that that was somehow like Mary the something? Yeah, mm-hmm. well, any kind of like movie about, a, oh, it's a girl and she's kind of difficult. You know? Oh. But she's oh. going to find love, hopefully. You, hopefully. Well, Mary wasn't difficult, though. Oh, is that right? E- yeah, you didn't see the oh, movie, what was but it, everyone, what was about her? everyone was obsessed with Mary. There's something about her that they love. Oh. Yeah, Mary was like, you know. What was it about her? Can you tell me, or is that a spoiler? It was just something. I have to watch the movie to find. I out I think what if it was. you watched it, you'd think I also find something about who, Mary. Who was Mary? Who played Mary? Uh, uh, Cameron Diaz. Oh, that was like peak, height. Peak ca- Diaz. Mm-hmm, yeah. Peak Diaz. It was like I don't know how long after the mask, but she looks good. She man. looks so good in the mask. I. It's almost like it's not yeah. her. She's so sultry. Yes. Her hair is like it looks so good. She's just very. Because I feel like most of the movies, she's kind of like upbeat and cute and fun or like, yeah, or, or you know, she got a more big business. She got a big old but mouth. But it's not like, lar- it's like, it's like thin. She's got such a good wide. smile. Like, yeah. yeah. You know? But she got some lips. She got some lips. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah she's lip. pretty. I yeah. think she's really beautiful. Diaz. Is she? Uh, I don't. I think she's just white. <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't done any. Where Diaz come from? Where's the then? Diaz, yeah, homie? She just changed it to make herself seem more interesting. I, I mean, people do that. Yeah, they do. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Because as we talked about, sometimes you don't be knowing who's who's what. I think I heard Alec Baldwin's wife did that. Where oh she just full on my was god! Like, oh, I'm I'm Spanish. It's it's and really cringy. It's really cringy because yeah. she grew up in Boston and like classmates were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> because there's an interview of her very cringy because she's talking, and she's showing them a recipe or something, and she's like, "Um, it's a uh, uh, how you say uh cucumber, cucumber," and she says cucumber <laughs> like she didn't know the word, and everyone's like. The English is her first language. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> she gets called weird. out and she and Alec Baldwin was of course defending her like my wife's heritage. So yeah, no, she's mm. yeah. I love that. Yeah. Speaking of which, how about that video? I never got any follow ups on that video. Uh, with the girl <gasps> plant with making oh, the keto my. tortillas. Wait, was, is the comment still there? Yeah, it's still there. It's um, I haven't gotten any response though. Adam showed me a video because we were doing uh, we're doing keto. research because we're doing That's as right. as you, you know, as you dedicated fans out there learned last episode. We're doing keto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so we're doing a little research. That's right, a little Reese. And what did we, we find, see. babe? Oh, on the video. Well, yeah. he we started it, and before I even watched it, he was like, "I want to know if you notice anything about this." And, <laughs> and she's was, making what tortillas? Tortillas, yeah. and immediately Spanish accent, like Spanish. I don't know if it would say clearly it a white, more, clearly a white. She, we looked Caucasian it up. This girl. is a white girl. We did background research, and the whole time white. she's like a tortilla, like just very oh. like. Like everything was so, and it made me very so uncomfortable. You. Get for you, like everything was so <laughs> uncomfortable. And I'm yeah. watching this, and I'm like, "What the fuck is?" And they didn't yeah. just do it once. I mean, both her and I guess her sister yeah. were like, 
throughout the whole thing as they were making it. Yeah. We were constantly doing that accent. Yeah. And it was, I was offended. <laughs> Very cringe. It was so uncomfortable to watch. Because it's not like a comedy bit. No, it's I mean, just, they're just they're, doing. It's making tortillas. Yeah. So she's like, tortilla. And she's like, okay, first of all, you take the chicken, you put it in the blender, and then you make it a tortilla. <laughs> that is Spanish. That's, or uh, that's I, Italian. I, I slipped into it. Right. That would be yeah. very even funnier. Yeah, that would, have been, great. Yeah, that would have been fucking Italian. great. I know. Then making I would have been behind it, but yeah. she didn't. Yeah. She didn't, so it sucked. But uh, And then Adam put a comment, most racist voice ever. Yeah, I did. I and um, I stand by that. Yeah. Okay. Also, I'm not offended. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was funny. Yeah. But I yeah. I agree that it is offensive. But no one commented <laughs> on the voice. We were looking through the comments. Yeah. You know when you see something. Yeah. Like one of one of the things I see if I see something cringy or uncomfortable, post video, you gotta look through the comments to say, surely someone else noticed this. Right. I need to know. And it's, when you look and no one said anything, yeah. I'm always, uh, I'm like, what? It's just, a, a, it me. was just a bunch of like old white women being like, you girls are great. Yeah. We love you. Well, no, there was Y'all a ton are of difference. so funny and refreshing. <laughs> refreshing. Oh, you don't get this content I love your else. honesty. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You're not afraid. <laughs> I love this recipe. <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was it. Was uh, it was troubling to watch? This was a good time. Yeah. Uh, would you consider Shakespeare like because it's Renaissance era, right? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like its own little oh, mini yeah. Ren, Ren Fair, really. Yeah. We, oh yeah. So we got a report about that. We you know we Ren told you guys last Fair. week we were going, and now we've done it. We did it. And uh, you know, guess who liked it? Our I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was Adam it was a good it. time. Yeah. Um, a friend of ours who went with us. Shout out to Nick. Hey. Um. He, he was, you know, he joked when we were there about like what the the experience is like, and he was like, uh, "Yeah, you know, my friend was uh, asked me how the Ren Fair was, and I answered, um, well, it was great. I got a turkey leg, and that was it. And and I found my experience to really ring true to that statement, mm-hmm. in that uh, really a good third of the trip was just waiting in line for a it turkey really line. was it, yeah. the line was insane and we were in the hot sun oh it was like 100 degrees out it that was day rough. that sun was unforgiving it was brutal yeah. I, we almost i think we got a little dehydrated we were getting it was getting rough it was touch and go at the end because we did nothing the rest of the day adam had to walk away from the line because yeah, he was his back was hurting Oh, I'm an old man. Okay. Yeah, he's the age is coming I mean, through. We, we really, I mean, we should have brought some liquid IV with us. I think that really would have. I know. Really also, I would love it if Liquid IV could sponsor us. Yeah, let's shout out to Come Liquid on. IV. Well, Come we're on, giving man. them free. If we sell one pub. box, it's worth it. Yeah, we should yeah. not give people free pub. No, well, yeah. We need to, except for ourselves. Except we for ourselves. ourselves. We need to pub. pub. Um, but yeah, it was cool. They actually did have a jousting thing, which yes. it looked real. I mean, dudes were getting knocked off. Of I horses know. I was nervous. It was like wrestling, but for jousting. Yeah. It was pretty cool. I liked that. Um, I th- it was so well done. I mean, yeah, orchestrated I, maybe. It, yeah, it was yeah. so. Everything looked great. There was a lot going on. Yeah. A lot to be. You know, there was a lot, and I kind of get that when people do. A pass for it because thinking when when that's an option and you see the tickets thinking you'd get a pass for the summer since it's you know a couple months it's like yeah but if you went once aren't you gonna see it but there are it's different themes and different shows mm-hmm. and you know i think there is so many things you can buy when you're there i i mean to, i i wouldn't if you went back like every weekend you're, yeah. what do you you to keep buying shit honestly know. it's kind of genius because like where else are you gonna move leather like that in that kind of weather? Honestly, you know? yeah, in the fucking hundred degree weather. <laughs> you know, all these idiots just oh buying leather cloaks. Oh, and where? Oh, people were wear. It was so hot. They were yeah. wearing like long sleeve cloak mask, like those one. Oh, yeah. Also, I really wanted to get one of those knife canes. Oh yeah, those were tight. Those were tight. You can get that. You can go to any flea market and get those. Yeah. Can I mean, we look you, for one? Oh. 
That's a dream of mine. I've been looking. You've been looking. I'm I need way to know. ahead of you on that. I didn't even know. I keep trying yeah. to remember things. You know, I'll be doing something and I'll think, I should, I'm not going to buy it here. I would love to go thrifting and find this. Also, I think thrifting is a lot, can be a lot more fun in theory than in practice. Yeah. Because I've also, there'll you'll also go to some and it kind of can be overwhelming and then things suck. And yeah. So I think you need to have somewhat of an idea of something to look for because it's mm. a little more exciting because you're on a little hunt. Yeah. I think that's good. We've been on a hunt for, what is what? it? Oh, key ball. No, no. Oh, We're actually, no. looking for a no. good key ball. Yeah, and he suggests for a key ball. Yeah. Because we've been Do <laughs> you, time. audience, any Audience, key balls? come, yes, come yes. now. We know you're gatekeeping the key balls, obviously. Nice Ghostbusters joke. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm I was doing. The key doing. master gatekeeper. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so you're giving you me way know. too much credit. Well, but I'll take it. Just take it. I'll take it. Give it to me. Take I'll it take and go. It. Take it. I'm gonna take it and stay. How about that? So, what was your thrift? Uh, what are we looking for besides? Oh, Kewals, um, was Dutch. Isn't that the movie? <laughs> oh yeah, we're Dutch, looking yeah. for because Adam. It's Adam has discovered yeah. that this movie is like it's my it's my white whale it's your white whale because it you can't buy it because it's someone owned the the owner of the rights to the movie yeah explain it so this it movie dutch it's a it's a christmas movie uh from the early 90s starring ed o'neill who some of you may know is is um al bundy from married with children or from modern family he was probably more. So married with children. I'm just kidding. All right. All right. <laughs> I've never seen well, Modern Family. Yeah, it's he's disgruntled there too. But yeah. a little less, you know. But this was peak Ed O'Neill, yeah, where people no, were like, no, oh man, sure. it's got rising star. Can Love he do movies? And marriage. Wasn't that the song? Yeah, it was. Got it. And then he did Dutch, and they were like, oh no, he can't. Got it. Uh but it sounds like it was pretty funny. Um, uh, and like kind of a darker uh tale for a Christmas movie, kind of like before bad santa i mean it wasn't nearly as lewd as as bad santa but still just like very like depressed guy down on his luck trying to find happiness you know taking care of this his girlfriend's kid you know who's a richie rich Mm -hmm. you know and and he's a you know working class dude very interesting to me really would love to see that movie but it's no longer uh it's no longer in circulation yeah um because the rights are solely owned by Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, I don't know if any of you heard of him, but he sucks. Yeah, he, I mean, he's got a longer rap sheet than Cosby, I think. Oh, right? no. yeah. You know, I don't know. That's Who's a good got question. The rap sheet? Yeah, I yeah I, they're both pretty bad. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Cosby, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he's busting in the Cosby theme song again. <laughs> Stop him. in here. Oh man, we're done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we're gonna close it down. Uh, so you know we can't find it anywhere. So we we look every time we go to a thrift store with like a and wall you know there's of DVDs. yeah a wall of DVDs yeah, an insane amount of DVDs. I haven't found it yet. No, and and I think that we'll have to say Adam does get tired after like the second look. He's like, Ugh. oh, I check one D section. I'm like, oh, we did it. <laughs> we Done. Did. But they're not all in alphabetical order. Most of them yeah. aren't. So, but you have like the same, you know, type of movies. Like the new guy. There's like 12 copies of the new guy. Uh, well, that's because it's a great film. It's a great film. Joe yeah. Dirt. I feel like Joe Dirt was on replay on like on yeah. TV so often. Joe, Joe Dirt is such a shining star. Yeah. Of a movie. Oh, it's great. I'm yeah. not hate. I'm pro Joe. David Dirt. Spade's greatest solo work. Yeah. To date. I agree. Is that uh, his like only solo work? I can't think of any other. Well, Dickie t- Roberts is big. Oh, I forgot about that one. You know. Yeah, I haven't seen that and, one. And uh, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> and then he, I mean the other ones are like either ensemble or a duo, like Tommy Boy or Black Sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Or TV I like David shows. Spade. I think he's funny. He had a long career, and he's yeah. still he's still killing it. Also, David Spain, David Spade pulls. Yeah, I don't everyone. Get it. I would I would encourage you to look up David Spade's dating history. 
and just be in awe. Yeah. Didn't he date the the chick that played Mystique in X-Men? Didn't he play her? Rebecca Romaine? Rebecca Romaine. Didn't he date her? I think you're right. Doesn't that, that sounds right, doesn't it? Yeah, it does sound right. Doesn't that sound right? That's all right. Good yeah. for him. And he dated Heather Locklear. Who do you think he's dating now? I don't know. He's like a bachelor for life. Yeah. I don't know. Something weird going on there. Something's going on. Something shady going Something's on with Spade. Something's happening with Spade. Yeah, I think it's so. Spade. I don't know. I don't call know a spade a spade, you know? Oh, don't say Spade. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what that means. I mean, I I took but it I try, seriously. I try to stay away from it. I don't know what it means, but it just doesn't feel good to me. Oh. I don't know oh, why. Oh, maybe a little racist? I think. Maybe. I don't that know. That makes sense to me. I could see that. I, see, that's I'm the really problem. trying I really to be aware know. of what is racist and what isn't because there's a lot of stuff that's been integrated in our culture and that is super racist and yeah. you just use it every day and I just don't want to... Keep sucking, you know? Yeah. Keep just sucking at it. Mm. So. It's impossible. It's impossible. But. It's rough. So, we, yeah. So that and then um, what did you do today, babe? I went to the quarry, Whoa. which is in LaGrange, Kentucky. Ooh, that's fancy. It sounds fancy. I know. I didn't know what to expect because the preparation for this is like you have to sign a waiver first off, which I've. I never have to do. And they it's expensive. It's 35 bucks per person, which Yikes. usually if you go, it's like a beach or something. It's like free or there's some minor thing. But here's the thing. It's private property. So, you know, these people are profiting off of. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess it fills up, too. They have. Yeah, does it? Were there a yeah, lot of like, people there? No, it wasn't. I mean, there were people, yeah. but it wasn't crazy. Yeah. Um, But it. so we had to sign a waiver. No kids. Which, yay, exciting, but no alcohol or drugs. So you're like, ugh, no alcohol? And they search your car. I mean, yeah. I don't know how hard these, like there was a cop and some rando dude. Yeah. I don't know how hard they search the car, but they be searching. Sounds like it wasn't hard enough. I know, because we, we <laughs> snuck in alcohol. We didn't uh, We didn't uh, stick in alcohol. Yeah. Um, which I don't actually recommend usually when you're out on the beach because I've gotten dehydrated multiple yeah, times. Yeah, because it's hot out there. It's hot, but I also, yeah. it's kind of fun. Um, but we had to show our ID. It's fun. You're like Luffy. Yeah. Um, and it was fun. I mean, it was cool. It was like a, you know, a, a body of water surrounded by rocks. So the first thing I thought of when I got there is I'm like, I'm so glad these kids aren't here to bust their head open and die from these rocks. It's, and yeah. it's slippery. Like if you go in, mm -hmm. also they require you to have a float because you just, you literally just get on and float, and that's what you do. Like yeah. they're not, you're not allowed to swim around in it. Which sucks that you can't drink. Because if I'm gonna float, I want to drink, baby. You want to drink? Yeah, I know. I that's agree. Even the point of of that, it's you know? strange to me. I don't know. I guess I'm thinking like maybe a liability thing, but yeah. but you had fun though. Oh yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time. I, it was cool. I think it was. Oh, I didn't tell you this. We saw a catfish. Oh, really? In the water. Whoa, watch out. Pretending to be someone they're not. Hey, now. Okay. Hey, now. All right. You really got me there. I gotcha. You no, really but we did. did see a real catfish. Is that a fact? Yeah, no, we did. Was he jumping out of the uh, out of the water? It was a chunky boy. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was... And and um, a friend I went with had already mentioned that she had seen a catfish. And I was nervous. And we saw one. And I was like, oh, shit. It's just swimming by us. Mm -hmm. It was wild. <laughs> it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So, oh, and then they had. Um, have you ever seen a fish before? Or? Yeah. I've seen, yeah. I've seen a fish or two in my, but in cat, my day. They kind of have whiskers, though. It's kind of tight. I know. Yeah. It's cute. Like a little mustache. Yeah, a little mustache. Yeah. There's a, there's a, like a, not a diving board, but there's something you can go and jump off of. And my friend jumped off it because she's a bad bitch. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. She prepared for it. So that was yeah. cool that that was there. And then they had a little, you know, um, floating. What is that called? Like a little board. Oh, the um, you the, can jump off of. It's like a barge. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair, but it's it's yeah. not I know like Shawnee, those. Like a yeah. Raft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get I've it. I've gotten on those. Yeah. You get it. So those were there, and it was cool. We were just floating, and then we get out, and then we go back in, and I liked it. I had fun. I really? thought it was cool. I think. Would you go back for thirty? I would for sure go back. Um. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? I guess I'm just thinking about. This is hopefully the people aren't garbage who own it, but I feel like maybe they are. Yeah. Who knows? Um, but you can have like a paddle board. You can rent one of those, which is cool. Yeah. And I would get like a tent or an umbrella or something just so your yeah. my face wasn't directly in the sun. We the need whole to time. be better about having like a parasol. Or I something know. With us. I try to be as prepared parasol. as possible, but I didn't know what to expect. I really wasn't sure. Yeah. So yeah, I would do that. I think that was the big thing. And then have like a chair. I was going to bring the chair and do that because I thought, oh, we'd be laying in the sand. And there was only like a small patch of like a beach area and yeah. it was pretty full. Yeah. So we didn't fuck with that. Yeah. I think we really need to do if we're going to keep good doing stuff like this, we got to be better about yeah. preparing. For I think it. what we should do and it doesn't require a lot is just Google it. Just Google <laughs> because it. Because if, well, if I would have if I would have just like Googled even. Corey, what to bring? Someone would have said, make sure it's sunny, bring blah. Or I think I would have gotten more. Make sure your floaty has blah because it's easier. Or make sure you have, because if I had like water shoes, that'd be tight. Because it was, there's like, it's like rocks at the bottom you're mm-hmm. walking in. And it, they're slippery. So, yeah. You know, but it was still sure fun. there's not a hole in the flotation device. Mm-hmm. That's I was thinking about yeah. that. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Yeah. You mean, wait, you said I had a hole. Because you had life. one, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did. I had a small yeah. hole. Yeah. yeah. And then I turned into a taco because I was yeah. flapped over. Like, the the more, you know, it's a circle. is It's a yeah. donut. Yeah. And the more air came out, the more, like, the sides mm-hmm. of it would push up. Yeah. So then I'm just being crushed in the middle of it. Yeah. And I'm just trying to look cute. And I'm oh, like, baby. it's fine. You're like a little taco. Okay. Oh. You're, like a little, you're the meat in the little I'm donut the meat taco. In the, my donut taco. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had a great time. Thank you. I, uh, Thank you. My experience today was a little bit more somber. Mm. Um, this might get just a little dark, just so y'all know. Sorry, you guys. We keep bringing it back. Just a little heavy. Just a little. <laughs> but I went to a, um, I went to a memorial slash uh, funeral today for one of my, uh, we'll say cousin in laws. Yeah. And uh, what an interesting experience that was. I mean, you know, you get to see all your family that you never see except for when somebody dies or someone gets married or somebody gets married. Um, and it's so funny. My, so I looked over and, you know, there's a lot of people there, honestly, pretty good turnout. Oh, okay. Great That's turnout. Nice. That's nice. And then, uh, and then about like maybe five minutes after the service starts, I look back and I'm like, Oh, Hey, there's my uncle, uh, uncle Eddie. Hey, hey. He's rolling in a little late. I'm like, oh, you know, what are you going to do? And uh, and then at the end of the service, uh, I look back and I'm like, oh, hey, Nancy, cousin Chris, what's up, y'all? And they're like, they're like, they just got there like 10 minutes before the service ends. Oh, like, my God. Yeah, we're a little late. I'm like, oh, man. Don't worry. You're on Jacob's time. Dog. You're on it's Jacob's all good. time. It's all good, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I'm just like, that's my family. You know, it's they're just they're just living. You they're know? just living it. That's a beautiful thing. But um one thing that I um one thing that I did really want to share was uh you know some not I don't think every funeral or every memorial does this, but a lot of the times there will they'll have this uh segment where they will open up the floor to to people in the I can't say audience but like in the uh, in the pews, right? Yeah, okay. The the the, the people attending the oh, service, right? Like to share. The attendees, right? Mm-hmm. They'll open up the floor to anyone who wants to share a memory or talk about the uh the dearly departed. And uh you know, really opening up to some awkward moments oh no you know because if no one says anything 
it's a pretty awkward situation. Silence speaks volumes. I mean, the funeral's over at that point. You might as mm-hmm. well just leave. You know? Let's move it along. And I've been in that situation where, like, maybe, like, one person says, like, a little thing, and it's, like, and then it's just crickets after. Brutal situation to be in. Because it's, I hope like. people talk at my funeral. Because, like, what are the. Is this it? You had nothing mm. to say about me? Oh, no. You had nothing to say about I me? so much shit. What about the time I fixed your mower for you and I didn't charge? I want to talk about that, you know, and all this stuff. But so very scary. But happy to say this was not one of those times. There oh, were, good. It, it actually got pretty emotional. There were a lot of people who had a lot of beautiful things to say about oh. my cousin. Oh, And, uh, which is, you know, bittersweet for me because I didn't really, I didn't really know my cousin-in-law all that well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really just like, you know, I always knew him as just like, oh, and he's here too. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, I know you exist. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm here with the family and, uh, oh, he's here. He's sitting on a lawn chair. Oh, all right. Well, that's enough of that. Bye. And he's like, nobody wants to work anymore. I'm like, all right. All right. right. Uh, <laughs> love him uh and uh but there was um so you know everyone's sharing their their memories of him and uh his uh father got up to say something and i learned this after the fact they did not have a close relationship and so um you know this guy stands up and and he's like an old, like old biker dude looking guy, like in his sixties, maybe seventies and just scraggly wearing these huge, gigantic glasses, oh, like, man. like thick rim glasses, thick. but also wearing like a Harley Davidson, like black button down short sleeve, you know, with like the, with like the thermal underneath, you know, Oh, I, I don't, I don't remember if he was wearing a bandana, but very easily could have been wearing like mm-hmm. a Harley Davidson. I'm picturing bandana. him with a bandana. Definitely like an ex biker guy, like mm-hmm. super hard, clearly had a hard life, clearly was probably into some stuff, you know, in some trouble probably here and there. And clearly not the kind of guy who's, you know, in touch with his emotions. Right. And, uh, you know, he gets up there, he says his piece, he says all these wonderful things about his son and, you know, all these heartfelt things about how proud he was of him for, you know, for not complaining about his illness, it, he passed of cancer and, um, you know, how proud he was that he never complained. He never asked for pity. You know, he said, he, he said he quote and quote handled it like a man. Ooh. And then he started weeping in front of everyone um and it was very much everyone i mean everyone was affected by it i was i was tearing up again i didn't know him that well but i mean just feeling that having that experience i mean because men don't show emotion publicly it's very Mm -hmm. it's very taboo still Mm -hmm. to this day yeah and so when someone unless it's anger unless it's anger and so when someone like that does it and they start sobbing in a public forum oh, I'd, I'd lose it people lose it right absolutely very Done. very hard moment mm-hmm. uh to experience and you know it was very beautiful he sat back down they go back through you know other people start sharing and then two minutes later i look over and he's just sipping on a coca-cola mm. <laughs> good for him and i'm like that's the drink you bring to a f- to your son's funeral, Coca Cola. Yeah. Well, just, oh man, I just, I'm so upset. I need a, a refreshing beverage, such as the great Coca Cola product, and that have been opens promoted it, just, by polar bears. You for open centuries. it up, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> and you just. Oh yeah. <sighs> Honestly, those commercials would always get me when they do like a, I, I mean, I know why, like Sprite yeah. anything. Like, <sighs> yeah. What a great ad that would be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just him, like, so you're, you're, you're a funeral. Everyone's like really touched. They sits down. <laughs> Drown your sorrows in a Coke. <sighs> <laughs> Coca. And it's the polar bear. Like, <laughs> yeah. What's the Coke? And he's like, okay, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sad. He's like, let's be sad together. He drinks the Coke and he's like, that makes it somewhat better. Yeah. 
that helps it well i'm sure it does you know yeah and i was thinking about that after the funeral i couldn't get it out of my head it's coca, that's coca-cola just a syrup, sweet syrupy beverage huh that's i mean that's a that's a real treat coca-cola you know and i was thinking like what it, what what's the most outrageous drink someone brings to a funeral after they eulogize someone you know like what if instead of a coca-cola he was like and we we will we will certainly miss him dearly he was a good family man and and will always be in our hearts and then and then he pulls out a cord pineapple just, just <laughs> oh i love pina coladas <laughs> little umbrellas on it oh justin love pina coladas <laughs> Yeah, with the little umbrella. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. I was thinking of an icy. <laughs> oh yeah, polar pop. Because I was thinking how ridiculous that would be, but that's also. Over and then the he top. has the blue yeah. around yeah, his it's mouth, over. You know? and he's and he's trying to get the last little bit of the icy, so it's loud. <laughs> the last little. And someone else has already got up talking about him, like yeah. the sun, and he's just like. <laughs> it's like okay, is he? How long is this going to continue? I mean, we can't say anything. That's the dad. Yeah. We can't say That's anything. It's kind of his show, honestly. This is his show. Let's yeah. just let him do what he's got to do. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just talking to himself. Oh, that blue raspberry. Trying <laughs> 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 to scoop it out with the Well, he's got the he's got the, he's got the scoop with and the, the scoop straw. With the straw. The scoop yeah. straw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think what would have made the most sense if you just cracked open a beer. I mean that that would oh be, I know that's that would have been thinking. The, that would have been more on that's brand for him than a Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you think Coca Cola was like that was the that was the dial? I was like, I want a beer, right? I'm not gonna drink water because that's for pussies. Yeah, sure. So I'll settle for a Coca Cola. Yeah, that was the in between. I wish I could have asked honestly. I'm like, I'm sorry for your loss. What's going on with the Coke? Real quick. What's the Coke set? <laughs> yeah. He's like, thank you for asking some. Would you like one? That's part of the commercial. Yeah. Coke, enjoy the funeral together. <laughs> enjoy the moments when you can. When you can, because you don't know when they're going to end. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. We, well, we know his end. It was two weeks ago. But He's no longer with us. So drink all the Coke you can, because yeah. you never know. You never, you never know. You never know. You never know. So that was that. Just mm -hmm. wanted to share that with you, babe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, I didn't share that with you yet. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think we did it. How are you feeling? We did it. Yeah? We did it. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. Well, I felt good last time, too, and then we listened to the podcast, and oh. I was like... Oh, also, can I say, I ha we forgot to say this in the beginning, Adam made a mistake when... So, oh. my improv troupe is called Extra Crispy. Exclusive. Adam made a little Pete Holmes reference, and I thought that he was talking about, you know, just him connecting it to the Pete Holmes bit, but it is not connected to Pete Holmes. I yes. repeat, it is separate from Pete Holmes. I, I redact my statement mm -hmm. about the Pete Holmes reference. Thank you. Because that... Troop has been around longer than Pete Holmes has been relevant. Yeah. So there's no yeah. way that would have that could there's have no happened. Way. You yeah. Know, so. I and it was there's a whole other thing about it that don't yeah. ask me to. Repeat. So I apologize to anyone who may have Thank been you. upset by that. We've gotten letters. We've gotten many people have written many in letters. Um, one person delivered it via knife on our door. Uh huh. Um, there was blood on it. There was blood on it. We have called the police, but, you know. We filed a report. What can you do in this system, you know? <laughs> what? It's that's not going to be solved. Yeah. He's yeah. just out there. He's, yeah. It's all and nice. I'm going to find him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm going to Liam Neeson his ass. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, you will. You will be taken. I just want you to know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just to be clear. Well, listen. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to come and get you. You're <laughs> probably going to get raped. But I will find you. But I will find you. I will find you post-rape. Oh, so I yeah. don't know what to... I don't know. The That's the best I can time, do. The in-between time, I can't really control. That's the best I can do. I'm going to get there as soon as I can. But again, kind of hard. Didn't give me much to work with. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, 
Uh, we, uh, we really did you guys a favor. We interrupted, uh, watching the fast and the furious to yes, do this. So we did. we're, I think we're gonna go back and finish it. Right. We're gonna finish the fast and the furious. We got to see what happens to Dom. Is that his name? Oh, I think so. Is that Vin Diesel? Dom. And then Brian. What was his name? Brian. Brian Splinter. Or That's something. Paul Walker. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to think of, oh yeah. Well, I'm just going to call. I'm not going to, he's, he's Paul yeah, Walker. Yeah, no, you're right. Paul Walker. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. Yeah. yeah. We're so, going to get back into it, so. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It's This has been a Fast and the Furious episode, honestly. That's right. All That's right. right. Bye. Bye.